observing Orlando and vicinity. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KIH-63, the voice of the National Weather Service. This broadcast comes to you from the National Weather Service office in Melbourne, Florida, on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Routine tests of the weather alert feature are normally performed on Wednesdays, between 11 a.m. and noon and again between 6 and 8 p.m. as weather permits. Marine forecast for the following. Coastal waters from the Volusia Brevard County line to Sebastian Inlet up to 20 nautical miles. This afternoon, southeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet with a dominant period 12 seconds. A moderate chop on the intracoastal waters. Tonight, south winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet with a dominant period 11 seconds. A light chop on the intracoastal waters. Monday, south winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet with a dominant period 11 seconds. Choppy on the intracoastal waters. Slight chance of showers in the afternoon. Monday night, south winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 6 feet. Choppy on the intracoastal waters. Chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Tuesday, southwest winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 6 feet. Choppy on the intracoastal waters. Showers likely and slight chance of thunderstorms. Tuesday night, west winds 20 to 25 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Slight chance of showers. Wednesday, northwest winds 15 to 20 knots becoming north 10 to 15 knots in the afternoon. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Wednesday night, northeast winds 10 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Thursday, east winds 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Marine forecast for the following. Waters from the Volusia Brevard County line to Sebastian Inlet extending from 20 to 60 nautical miles. This afternoon, south winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet with a dominant period 12 seconds. Tonight, southeast winds around 15 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet with a dominant period 12 seconds. Monday, south winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 6 feet with a dominant period 11 seconds. Slight chance of showers in the afternoon. Monday night, south winds 20 to 25 knots. Seas 5 to 7 feet. Chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms. Tuesday, southwest winds 20 to 25 knots. Seas 5 to 7 feet. Showers likely and slight chance of thunderstorms. Tuesday night, west winds 20 to 25 knots. Seas 5 to 7 feet. Slight chance of showers. Wednesday, northwest winds 20 to 25 knots becoming north 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Seas 5 to 7 feet. Wednesday night, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 4 to 6 feet. Thursday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Gulf Stream hazards, none. The approximate location of the west wall of the Gulf Stream based on the real-time motion forecast system from Friday, April 4th. 43 nautical miles east of Ponce Inlet. 31 nautical miles east of Port Canaveral. 24 nautical miles east of Sebastian Inlet. 15 nautical miles east of Fort Pierce Inlet. 10 nautical miles east of St. Lucie Inlet. This hazardous weather outlook is for East Central Florida. Day 1, today and tonight. Rip current impact, long period northeast wells will contribute to a moderate risk for rip currents at East Central Florida beaches today. A rip current is a narrow channel of water flowing outward from the surf zone which can carry even strong swimmers into deep water. To avoid being caught in a rip current, swim only at beaches where lifeguards are present. If caught in a rip current, try to remain calm and signal for help. Swerve parallel to the coast until out of the pull of the current, and then return to shore. Do not try to swim back to shore against the current, since this is usually what causes most trip current drownings. Days 2 through 7, Monday through Saturday. An advancing cold front across the southeast states in Florida late Monday night into Tuesday will bring a risk of strong to possibly severe thunderstorms. The best chance of storms will occur during the day on Tuesday ahead of the front.
strong to severe thunderstorms will be possible with the main threat being damaging wind gusts with the squall line. Winds and seas are expected to reach advisory criteria across the Atlantic waters as the front moves across the waters Tuesday. Marine conditions will remain hazardous Tuesday night into Wednesday as winds become strong and gusty from the west to northwest behind the departing system. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation will not be needed today. The forecast for the Orlando No Weather Radio listening area. Today, considerable cloudiness. Highs in the upper 80s. Cell points 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, considerable cloudiness. Lows in the upper 60s. Cell points 5 to 10 miles per hour. Monday, mostly clouds of the Interstate 4 corridor. The main threat with any stronger storms looks to be damaging wind gusts. Rip con demand. Southerly winds will increase on Monday as a cold front approaches from the northwest. This will increase the risk of more frequent and dangerous rip currents at area beaches. The elevated threat for rip cons looks to continue into Tuesday and Wednesday as winds shift to the west and northwest and increase in the wake of the cold front. A high surf advisory may also become necessary. Chance of a 
hours of his light chance of stutter. Synopsis. High pressure remains in place over Florida. 29 knots to the Gulf Stream. Along the coast, sea students are bringing in close to Monday evening, bringing with such high chances for showers and thunderstorms Monday night into Tuesday. Some storms may be strong to severe. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK 83 listening area for the following marine location. 17 knots along the coast to north northwest 19. That is weird, folks. I was just listening to Orlando's weather radio. Um, let's see. I forgot what it's. It's KHB or KIH 63, something like that. And all these other stations started to flood in with it for some reason. The I'm not sure if this is a glitch on the radio's part or if it's the station's part, but I just started to hear Miami on there. So I'm not sure, but this is really crazy, folks. Um, I'll get back with you in just a second once I figure out what the heck's going on. <laughs> 